but had to learn to actually decline offers report people lock them and actually just not answer them if you're looking for someone who is degrading women this is not the video hello mes amour welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is cindy and i mostly make videos that have to do with fashion specifically on the thrifting slash sustainable side so if that's something you like to see or hear more of please consider finishing this video and checking out my other ones thank you i think you've seen the title you know what this video is about and let me tell you from the beginning you in for a shock but to be honest i don't think it's gonna be so shocking or so surprising because as women i feel like those are things we're exposed to at such an alarming rate that we're no longer surprised when we hear about things like that but this is mostly a video to get awareness before i kind of explain how this video is gonna be structured i have to say Right now, I am not feeling well at all. My ears are completely blocked, so I can't hear myself correctly. But I really wanted to film this video today, so it doesn't matter. Let's start with the structure. It's gonna be structured in two different parts. First, I'm gonna show you some of my experience. It's only gonna be three experiences, but it doesn't mean that the experiences are less impactful. And the second part of the video is going to be focused on giving some tips to kind of avoid that in real life those are tips i've come up with personally to make sure that once i literally like come across a creep i know how to handle them like quickly i'm gonna focus on ebay and depop let me know in the comment section down below which one you think is the creepiest which one you think is the most disgusting and which one do you think is funny let's get down to the video basically the first experience i'm gonna title it the guy who gave me his number it first started by him thanking me for sending him the items and he then follows it up with his diary in the photographs. Just curious. Bear in mind, i not the type of person who shows my face on my pictures. It's mostly just my body. Literally, this is a picture of the item. It cannot be that sexy, you know. But anyways, he asks if it's me on the photograph and I said, yes, it's me. Can I ask why? So he said, no, just some curiosity. You look sweet. It's a fact, not a compliment. There are so many books behind you are you a good reader i answer thank you you know i'm trying to be nice here and this could be a potential returning customer so i'm not gonna be mean to him but at that moment i had already noticed that we were entering a bit into creepy land in the grand scheme of things it's okay to compliment someone but i feel like sometimes there's a thin line at that point he had not crossed that line that's why i was still entertaining him so i'm like thank you yes i do read i do have some i'm reselling on my page if you're also into reading you might be interested in some at the end of the day i'm here to resell things i'm here to sell i'm here to make money so if you're gonna talk about books i'm gonna entertain you but at the same time i'm gonna plug myself so when i say that he said good to know i love reading but unfortunately my time is so limited to it of course what sort of book do you like to read and may i ask what is your profession at this point i stopped answering him but of course the man was not gonna take no for an answer so he sent me a message on the other item he had bought he's like i received the items and left a lovely feedback like yourself he tells me he's based in greater manchester he tells me his name so i tell him where i live and i tell him that's nice the fact that you know he lives in manchester now i tell him sadly i have a boyfriend but you seem like a very nice guy thanks for both purchases you know trying to exit nicely but of course he doesn't care He's like, my pleasure, and you look so sweet and nice too. Pleasure is mine always to have you as a lovely friend. At that point, I'm like, when? When did we become friends? Did I miss a step? Did I miss a step? Like, was I sleeping? I woke up and realized a lot of things are happening. At that point, he's still talking, you know? He is still talking. He's on a wall and he's ready for it. That was, of course, the first part of this. The second story, I decided to call it Guy Who Wanted to Meet Without any reviews i feel like this is the funniest one out of the bunch one morning i'm actually at the train station our train is delayed so we're in the waiting room when all of a sudden i received this message in the beginning nothing too crazy just a simple person who asks me if it will be okay to collect an item i'm like hey would it be okay to do delivery thanks at that point i had gone on the person's profile because i've noticed a lot of ebay people especially scammers they never have any issues it might be a woman but at that point i doubt it you doubt it we both doubt it he's like sure and that he likes a few items and i'm like would you like them or just that one so he tells me i like a few items which is why i suggest that collection and i'm like i could do a combined listing if you like 
or combined postage. You know, I don't mind. I will do that for you as long as it's delivery, not collection. He says, let me have a good look through and decide then I'll come back to you. Guys, let me know if you think the person ever came back to me. And also, let me know if you think the person is still on eBay. To be honest, out of all the three, it's the most harmless one, but at the same time, if it was someone who was more naive or someone who just didn't, I don't want to say, like the person didn't understand the consequences, but I feel like it's really easy when you don't have a lot of experience to do certain things because i've done collection before it's not my first time but i had put it in a very safe way in this scenario it could be harmless you know at the end of the day it could be harmless but at the same time it could not be and did i want to risk it no i didn't that was story number two let's move to story number three i called that one the man who wanted a lady's jacket listen guys there is nothing wrong about a man wearing women's jackets or women wearing men's jackets in fact most sweaters i wear are actually men's sweaters because i love how oversized they are but if you hear the story you will understand why that title is funny because that man really did not want the jacket now did he by the way let me tell you this person is no longer on depop i'm really sad i wasn't the one who reported them whoever reported him close to you you're doing god's work i love you so i sent him a message asking him if he was interested in the black leather jacket i was selling and if he was i would reduce the price for him it used to be before we were able to send offers on depop and it used to be when i thought the best way for me to sell items was to send messages he asked me if i have any pictures of it worn and that should have been a red flag that should have been a red flag at that point the second and fourth pictures in the listings were pictures where i was literally wearing the item he was like oh yes sorry my bad could you take some up clothes or are you busy right now with three x's from having been on reddit this past few months like religiously being on reddit this past few months i've noticed this is actually a very interesting tactic those creepy men have been using which is literally asking for pictures up close i added the pictures and then i tell him and he answers oh wow you look so hot in that black leather trench coat with heart eyes emojis and two exes before anyone is gonna come to me and be like it could have been a woman i don't think so we know women can also talk that way i've called women hot before but it's just like with the abundance of creeps on this app <laughs> we know it wasn't a woman if i continue with the tips guys i want to give a disclaimer this video is not a video to tell women and to stop showing their bodies because i know some people will be in the comment section down below saying oh, the creeps would actually stop if women were covering their bodies and they would stop showing their bodies or whatever and by the way that's the next video coming it's actually gonna be about what i think about depop turning hypothetically into a soft core P O R N selling app. So if you guys are interested in that video, it's definitely going to be the next video I post. But for now, if you're looking for someone who is like degrading women, this is not the video. But anyways, let's talk about the tips. The first tip is as follows: when you notice someone being creepy, instantly stop any form of conversation with them and block them if possible. I actually used to be that kind of person who used to say, "Dizing want to block anyone." I spent so long on Zipop not blocking people, but I've gotten to the level where I'm like. I'm sorry, you're not gonna upset me and I won't do anything about it. If you've done everything to come to me and upset me on purpose, I'm gonna do anything I can to make sure you stop upsetting me. I had to learn to actually decline offers, report people, block them, and actually just not answer them. And I know we're not taught to look for those signs, but to be honest, I feel like when someone is acting creepy, we can kind of tell, even if it's not fully, there's a part in your brain who goes bleep 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 problem here. Go on the person's profile. Make sure it's actually a human being operating that profile. Check the likes. What are they liking? If they're liking the same type of pictures, like you repeated pictures of women that are kind of naked or are kind of showing body parts. I'm sorry. Not saying that women can also go and like other women's pictures. If there's a team in the likes, the person has nothing, nothing that proves that they are actually on the app. The person has not listed anything. The person has no reviews, no links, no profile picture, and just the likes are so interesting. Then yeah, red flag. Basically, there are a lot of things you have to 
learn to like look at and someone is talking to you and you feel like maybe i should not be having this conversation or i do not feel safe in this conversation right now or i do not like where this is going please stop that should be the, a clear sign that you need to stop the conversation right at that moment okay the second tip i'm going to give of course is to report them the more go on apps like reddit and read what's happening to other women realize that actually we won't be able to get rid of all of them we can get rid of them and they will come back but at the end of the day helping you something you've done something you've helped another woman who was more naive than you younger even let's not go with naive let's go with younger because there are a lot of younger uh, women on the app right now don't just say i'm gonna stop answering that person actually block them and before you block them, report them. Maybe Deepop won't get rid of them, but hopefully they will, and that will be a win for us women. And I'm not saying like, it only happens to women, it also applies to men. The third advice I'm gonna give, or tip, such tip, is to raise awareness through showing interactions. I can't explain how much Reddit has helped me in actually realizing that. It's not even a joke. Like, you don't know who you're helping to showing what happened to you. Like, this is what was said to me. And then I didn't even know that it was a thing of asking women to take close-up pictures until like I actually saw it on Reddit. And I was like, oh, through you showing showing interactions and raising awareness you could actually be helping a younger woman who would have put herself in a situation where she would have regretted and so this is kind of what it's about like a community helping one another as women and as human beings i have to say one last thing there could be certain times where they would pass as women they would actually do that pretend to be women so you guys should really really be on the look out and on that guys i hope you liked my tips i hope you learned something from this please let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the tips if you've had any of those interactions like before on depop or any other reselling app it doesn't even have to be reselling app be it tiktok instagram like anywhere let me know in the comment section down below let's all discuss and who knows we might be helping someone so thank you guys for watching love you as well bye love you